phone. I turned it off to save it. If you're not going to use it, you should keep it off. Save the battery. Plus, the sound drives me crazy, you know? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. So, did you call? Uh, yeah. I was going to. Maybe. Yeah, that's pretty much where I left you. The babbling to myself stage. You should, of course, call. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the decent thing to do. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing to do, really. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Funny thing is, you were going to call anyway. I mean, for a different reason, obviously, but that's what you said. I did. That's what you told me. I did say that. You said, I'm going to call her where I am, I promise. You were sitting on that couch, same spot, really, when I told you that. Five minutes before this happened, like a minute before all of this happened. Look, we've heard about that one now a few times, haven't we? The big call. Yeah. Yeah. I even threw in that little incentive, didn't I? Down there, on my hands and knees. Yeah. And I should call. But that doesn't mean shit, does it, Ben? I guess not. That's what I like about you. Your absolute rigid commitment to being a flake. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you want a snack? It's cheese. No, thanks. I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some cheese. That's all right. I know it is. I know it's all right. That's why I'm going to have some. <laughs> I'm gonna fix myself a nice plate of this Havarti, which I bought for you. And have a few crackers. Go ahead. Oh, I will. <laughs> I'll just, you know, have a little bit of it because it's gone to all this effort to get you some, and you're not even listening. You're just sitting there on your phone, and, and, and I've been off my bottle of this stuff, and you're just, you're just not even listening. You're just sitting. <laughs> <laughs> that was a test, by the way, to see if you have a decent fucking bone in your body, which you failed. I'm <laughs> sorry, Abby. I'm just. Should I... Answer or keep it off? It's up to you. I probably should, shouldn't I? Answer! Too late. You're too late, Ben. I see that. Once again, your ability to be completely off the mark is uncanny. Thanks, honey. Fuck. You. <laughs> I know. The world has gone completely nuts out there. No idea what's happening. No one does. The army are patrolling around on the Brooklyn Bridge, and there's people in camouflage, and you're just... I don't know. I don't know where you are. Abby, I'm right here. Why is that not comforting when you say it? I'm just <laughs> saying I know what's going on here. You do? I do. And out there. Really? Really. Yeah, really. Well, all that knowledge of yours, it doesn't make you want to go out and do something about it? Of course. Of course it does, but... Ah, but! There's always a but when you talk to Ben Harcourt. I'd love to, but... This Friday would be great, but... Abby. Sure, you could suck my dick, but... I'll be sucking! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because it makes me curious, that's all. And I was walking around staring at people, I suddenly thought... How does Ben feel about all of this? I mean, really, feel about what's happened. I feel like everybody else does. I don't think that's true. I do. No, because after the shock of it all, your first thought was that this is an opportunity. I meant as an opportunity for us. Who does that? Just as a possibility for us. Who in their right mind is going to see this as having unlimited potential? I didn't mean it's it. It's a meal ticket. That's exactly what you said, our meal ticket to a banquet that lately you haven't seen that eager to attend. Meaning me. I didn't mean and So that's why I'm wondering, how does Mr. Ben Harcourt feel about all of this? I feel very, you know... No, Ben, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I'm just very... How do you feel? Not good. Not good. Well, that's succinct anyway. Tell me how it makes you feel! Shitty! Okay, I feel shitty about it. Well, how shitty? Shitty enough to go down and pitch it at a hospital, or or hand out food on a shitty scale of 1 to 10, how shitty is her shitty feeling? You're just trying to provoke something here. No, I'm not. I'm interested. I really am. I mean, I know how I feel. I know that. So, 
I just want to know where we stand on this thing. As a couple, I mean. I mean, shit! It's a catastrophe, right? I mean, why even ask? It's, it's beyond. I can't even find the words. Of course you can. No, I can. They all just sound lame. Try. No, it's impossible. Okay. No words then. Action. That's what I'm saying. Do you feel not good enough? Your words, not mine. To go out and back this feeling up with a little. I don't know. You want me to what? Go out there on the street? Only if you feel like it. Of course I do, Abby. Of course, but. Can. Thank you. I knew that was coming. You know, on my way back here from the store, I followed someone, some woman, putting up Xeroxes at this guy. Probably not her husband. He looked too young, but then, hey, I don't think so, though. She was just wandering around in the dark with sunglasses on, a stack of pages, some masking tape, doing it at random. Light poles, a side of buildings, even on a car or two, seriously. She didn't put it under the wiper, but taped it right to the window. This whole city is covered. They said that on the news? So did you help her? What? The lady with taping up the signs and whatnot. N no, I didn't. Ah, okay. Well, I had the groceries and everything, but I... Ah, but... Well, I was just trying. Oh, ah, I see. I get it. Fine. I get where you're going. Good. I... Listen, it's sad, Abby. We get that, but my standing around and handing out Twix bars and shit like that is gonna mean a damn thing. I know. It would just be nice if you were that kind of guy. Yeah, well, sorry. You know why I can't, anyway. Yeah, I know. We discussed it. I know. Why I'm not answering the phone? The meal ticket. So okay, then. It doesn't mean that I'm not torn up about this. I don't want to sound crass or unfeeling. <laughs> no, that could never happen. Look! I don't, but do you honestly think that we're not going to rebound from this? Not just us, but the country as a whole. This is a national disaster, right? Until the next time the Yankees win the pennant. And we'll all move on from there. And trust me, I get it. The big picture, the larger context. I do. Well, well, Goliath awakes. I'm just saying how it is. That's and it's all. been noted. Duly noted. Don't. What? I'm serious. Don't. Ooh, you're so sexy when you're being a Abby, just... <laughs> Fine. I don't want that. What, then? I won't take it seriously. What won't you take? That! Being treated like one of your underlings. You are, though, Ben. No, I am not under you. You do not tower over me in some literal or figurative way. I'm your colleague, your co-worker, your partner. Okay, I get it. No, I just wanted to push Jeez, that out. Jeez, I wish you were this, 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 this specific when you tell me to do that thing with my tongue that you like. That's not funny. It's pretty funny. No, it's not. You can't even get your words out right. And it's not funny, not when I'm trying to say something about us. You said it, Ben. I get it, I do. And I'm sorry if what I say sometimes upsets you. Well, it does sometimes when you do. Is that a sentence? I'm serious! Okay, fine. You belittle me. You make me feel small. And yet somehow I don't tower over- Abby, stop it! I was kidding, please. Whatever. If that is what they say, like some old world phrase or something like that, it's because you have never, in your infinite wisdom, seen fit to promote me. Close to 5,000. Well, those people just. Yeah. Including you. You've been lost, Ben. Just like that, up in smoke. I wouldn't do that too much. People do know you around here. Well, don't know you. I'm not sure anyone can really know Mr. Ben Harcourt, but you know what I'm saying. Wouldn't want to blow your cover just yet, right, sweetie? It uh, looks like it might be higher. Shit. Unless they're all hiding out of their girlfriend's houses. Oh, Jesus, that's cynical. I thought that was one of the rules of disaster to keep it light. Yeah, not that light. Sorry. Mm. Forget it. It's like February, you know. If I have just woken up from a long sleep or something like that, I would have thought it was the middle of winter. Well, it doesn't feel like winter. Not out there. I didn't say that. Not at all. It's not a definitive weather forecast, for Christ's sake. I'm just saying how it looks. 
but the last place on earth. If it was snow, we could go down and enjoy it. Make angels go skiing, all that shit we used to do. Like when we first met, remember? Of course. Vermont. Yeah, you cut your hand on your ski binding, the edge of your ski binding. Stupid thing. I had to get one or two stitches, didn't I? Exactly, three, I think. It's like the corner was just all exposed, you know? Still, it was a great trip. Yep. That we liked each other. <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing bad, not anything. I still like you, Abby. What do you mean? I'm just saying. Those first days were lovely, really special, that's all. I do too. Feel that way. Listen, Abby, this isn't me. Like me, that is. Just this idea. This whole thing. I'm not normally like that. But this is it. This is our moment. Everything we decide comes down to right here. Today. I just wish whatever happens, it could always be like that. Like Vermont. Right. I mean, Jesus. You think that I was born this way, huh? Like some cutthroat pirate of the high seas. I'm just trying to muddle my way through. Muddle my way through the fucking Middle Age. See if I can even make it that far. You know what? I'm faking it. I'm just totally getting by on fumes because I put my game face on so I can go out there and I'm scared shitless. You know what? This is me because I've screwed up every single step of my life, Abby. I, I'm not afraid to admit it. My marriage, it was a goddamn fiasco, but you're intimately aware. And my kids, I probably register as a goddamn father, sure, but compared to all the other shit in my life, I'm Dr. fucking Spock. <clears throat> no matter what I do, they adore the hell out of me, and I'm just totally knocked out by that. And us, let's not forget about us. I know I haven't done all that I've said and promised. I fuck up along the way, all right. But I'm really trying this time out. And I don't know what it looks like or feels like to you, but I've made a real go of us. And that's not a lie. So then yesterday, for all the smoke and the fear and apocalyptic shit, I see a real chance for us to go for it. To totally erase the past. Yeah, but it's tainted. What? It's a fluke. We got lucky. Or more specifically, you did. You managed to be over here getting your proverbial cocks up when it happened, right? Mm -hmm. So you skip out, come over, get some head. That's not bad. So? So. There's probably a lot of spouses out there who wish their dearly departed would have Stop by to pick up a frappuccino or dropped off a roll of film. Hell, maybe even paid for a blowjob. Whatever it takes to stay alive. Just saying, you really dodged a bullet there. Plane. I dodged a plane? Be careful with that humor thing, remember? Sorry, I'm an honest person, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Make sure you slip that one in there. I'll sleep. I believe you may be pointing a finger at me, Mr. Harcourt. I think I may be, Miss Prescott. And what in your mind have I been dishonest about? Oh, nothing. Apart from your whole life? <laughs> I mean, which category? Work, rest, play? <laughs> you tell me. Me? There's that topic. You. I think so. For three years? What, that we're an item? People know that. Lots of people. Well, not your wife, maybe. No, no, that, that's not true. She knows? People. I mean, people, they, they don't know. I'm always careful to... What? Call on your cell phone, keep your keys in the FICA street. And other oh, stuff. Shit, then. Hey! I've never told anybody about us. I know that. I've been a steel trap this whole time. Of course you have. I have. I know, Ben. I'm agreeing with you. Then what? I have been. What? Indiscreet. You've told somebody. Yes. Shit! Don't worry! I'm not a complete kamikaze, it was family, not at the office. Come on, you know what I mean. Yes, Ben, I've always known. You like fucking the boss, but don't want it getting around. I get it. But maybe you should ask the boss if she likes fucking you.
What does that mean? Ask if what? How I feel about the two of us. I know how you feel about the two of us. I'm sure you think you do anyway. <laughs> All right. I know what you're doing. What? I know what. I know this trick. I'm not tricking you. <laughs> yeah. This is the make Ben feel insecure thing. Don't yes. be insecure. <laughs> I know this game. It's not a game. Listen, if you didn't want us having sex, then we wouldn't have it. It's that simple. Nothing's that simple. You're that kind of woman. You think so? I know so. You don't like some assistant at work, then she's out of here in 20 minutes. If you don't like a salt shaker that's been left in the cafeteria, then it's changed for you. If you didn't want us sneaking off and me just banging the shit out of you, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be doing it. Besides, you're the guy in this relationship. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, somebody's got to be. Yeah, but somebody doesn't have to be an overly dominating cunt about it. Oh. Oh, shit. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean Oh, no. I'm sure you meant that in the best possible way. I... I don't have any sexual problems. I wasn't saying you did, or implying it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. But once again, you were able to turn something about me into a thing about you. What? What? I said you should ask me if I like doing it with you, not that you have any problems, per se. Don't worry, Ben, I like screwing you just fine. But every second of every day since we've been together, I've been worried about this. Us. Worried myself sick if we're talking too long in the hall, or we kiss at a restaurant, or I lean over and grab your knee at our conference table in San Diego, but I mean like it. It usually feels great while we're doing it, but something inside of me screams you Fucking idiot. You stupid, needy bitch. After everything I've worked for, the pound of shit I need to get where I am. To blow it all on a piece of ass. I'm fine with that. You are. Yeah. I mean, not that I only think of you in that way. Sure, you're basically a nice lay. True, a lay that I love to take out for a coney dog and fries. Mm. And I love spending time with you. I do. We should spend the rest of our lives together. I say that to myself a number of times. She may be the boss. But Abby's one hell of a sweet fuck. You just did the same thing. What thing? The boss thing. No. You relate us in terms of who we at work or positions. Listen, the only position that I can relate to you in is when you're face down on that rug. Oh, really? You sure it's not a control issue? Yes! I don't care if you're my project director or a waitress that works at the deli. I like you for you. Then why do we always do it from behind? <laughs> we don't. Always. From the first day since, all four is face down, never looking me in the eye. It's no We had that whole competitive thing going right off the bat. Don't say we didn't. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Yeah. But... But... Then I got the promotion we were both gunning for. And like a month later, you're jockeying around for private dinners and discussions after work. We started working together. I fell for you. It's not a crime. Mm, actually, it is in some states. You're married. Oh, well, whatever. And then we got together for the first time up in Connecticut, remember? That was pretty much the last time you looked me in the face. Three years ago. Listen, if you're going to try and find some way to ruin all of this, then go ahead. And it was probably guilt, you know, this doggy style thing. Guilt? Yeah, you know, just all the cheating. It's hard to look you in the face sometimes, that's all. Hell, Ben, I feel guilty every moment I do, but I wouldn't mind making eye contact once a week. It just hurts sometimes. Then don't do it. It's a pretty simple equation. If you feel so not good, then stop putting your thing in me and go the hell away. Turn on your phone, take your wife's call, do that much. I mean, quit hiding out of my apartment and do the right thing. I don't want that, Abby. I want you. Then why don't you say it every now and then? Yeah, I should. I, I should. I, I do want you. No, I, I don't expect anything for it or care who knows it. 
I want you. That's all. By the way, I enjoy doing it from behind. <laughs> it's intimate and it feels good. But I love being like that with you. Thanks, Ben. I really do. It's very, uh, thanks. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I probably shouldn't mention it. It's comical, almost comical, the, the things you can imagine while you're making love that way, face down, turned away from a person. Uh, what do you mean? Just things, visions that will just suddenly appear while you're there doing it, or having it done to you. Because that's what it's like when you have sex that way all the time, like it's being done to you. But it doesn't really matter to the person back there who it is, just that it, meaning a backside, is there, available and willing. I can remember figuring out on my Christmas idea was one night at the Hyatt in Orlando, during one of our, um, on the carpet, as I recall. In fact, that might have been where I first noticed your particular bent for, well, my back porch. Abby, let's just... But most of the time, I just imagine that it's your wife, that it's your sweet little missus from the suburbs behind you, one of those, like, strappy things that you get at sex shops, and she's just <laughs> going to town on me, banging away for hours, because of what I've done to her life. And you know what? I let her. I let her do it because somewhere inside of me I feel like I probably deserve it. It's true. And when I think about it, it doesn't actually feel that much different than when we do it. Honestly, I mean, who better? She knows what you do it like, the speed, the rhythm, and all of that. Unless you do it with her all pretty and tender and who knows what, do you? No, probably not. She's probably read that old mattress tag even more times than me. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think they'll say about you? Huh? At the wake or whatever, what kind of speeches do you think your loved ones are going to make? I don't know. There's some spooky shit. I don't really want to think about it. Why do you care? You're dead. Maybe the company will even pay for it, so at least they can do after losing one so young and gifted. Abby, you know, you're... What it'll say, hmm? You're a little marker, do you think? What do you mean? Your, uh, epitaph. I mean, if you could write it. I'm sure it'll have the loving husband, father, brother bullshit, no doubt. But if it was you out there with the chisel, what would you put? He was okay. Okay? Yeah. Why on earth would you- Because okay is not such a bad thing. It's pretty fucking underrated, actually. Your big chance to sound good, and you go with okay. Wow. Let me tell you something. There are plenty more people out there who would love to be just okay. Would love it. Well, if it's any consolation, you're okay by me, Ben. More than okay. Thanks. I mean it. I appreciate it. That's not what I meant before, anyway. About what? You know. No. The steel trap thing. Oh. Then what were you saying? I was saying that... I don't know. Okay, good. Just so long as it's clear as mud. I wasn't saying, don't tell anybody. You know, I wouldn't tell you that. It's just, we had to be adults <coughs> about this whole thing. Adults? I'm in my 40s, I think that qualifies. I didn't... Christ! You pounce on every word! Wow. I did not want to tell people because I was embarrassed or trying to lead two lives or whatnot. I was thinking about us. <coughs> okay. If that's what it was, then okay. It was. We had to take it easy before, that's all. I get it. But now it's... Fine, right? Because you're passed on. Exactly. I am. You and the 6,000 other heroes. Come on, Abby. Well, I'm sure a few of them were anyway. Don't bring that up. I feel shitty enough. What as shitty as they feel? Who? The victims. Their families. No, I think you're way down the list there, Ben. Way the heck down. Go down and help sift debris for all I care. Fuck! How did we even get onto this? I think I started to feel something for a moment. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's bullshit. That's just It won't happen again, I promise. Fuck, Abby. 
That's unfair. I know a lot more people that work down there than you do. Tons more. As in tons of rubble? Fuck, Abby, stop it! You seem to forget that I used to work in that office, so yeah, I got a bunch of faces stuck in my head right now. What do you think I've been sitting on the edge of a love seat like a fucking pothead staring into space for a day? I don't know. Yeah, well, that's why! Okay. I thought maybe you were thinking about us. No. Yeah, I was. And your family. I mean, the prayers that they are sending out for you right now. I figured you were taking all that in. Shit. Silly me. Abby, you just... You know, maybe you should have got one of the guys from Maintenance oh, to give some fucking cheese. Yeah, that is just... I'm so serious! The guy's from Maintenance are probably dead! <sighs> oh. I'm sure some of them were cheating on their wives. You just gotta call around. What was that? What? Just now, did I hear what? your phone? No. I didn't. No. I was just fiddling with it, you know? It didn't ring or anything, but message tone went off, though. And who was it? I don't know. I, I didn't check. Not curious? No, nope. I'll check him at another time, you know? Sure. Just call him later. Yeah. Maybe when I go and get some more cheese, when it's safe, that'd be a good time to do it. All right. That means something. Obviously, that means something, or you wouldn't have said it. So go ahead. I'm saying that in the three years of us being together, I can't recall you listening to a message or taking a call in front of me. I can't. Because I was... Not a personal one. Anyway, now why do you think that is? Maybe I'm trying not to hurt you. What? Hurt me how? Make you listen in on that part of my life. The way I speak to my kids and whatnot. Oh. I've been sparing you that. Please, Ben. I want the whole you or not at all. So you want to hear every single No, little... not every. Just once. One time you stand in front of us and know what's coming out of your phone is the same shit you're telling me ten minutes later. Oh, this over a goddamn phone call? It's not the call, Ben. It's not that. Then what? It's trust and openness. You're wanting to share everything with me. It's having the desire to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't know. Well, that's bullshit. That is, because I've said this a thousand times. No secret. It's not a secret. Well, keep them from her, not from me. Otherwise, I might as well be her. Don't you get that? It's a private phone call. Private makes it secret. With a child? I don't care. All I was doing... It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm saying that it still applies if you're reading to your daughters the gingerbread man. Okay, then. What are we actually talking about here? You know, we keep dancing around it, but let's just say it. Let's just put the thing out there and see what we've got. Okay. If you need to, go ahead. This meal ticket of ours, tell me what it is exactly. You already know Just what... say it. This is stupid. Please. Fine. I think that we can do it this time. Do what? Be together. We are together. As a couple. You mean run away? Just say that's what Yeah. We're... Leave. Escape. Leave this city and be with each other for the rest of our lives. Don't you want that, Abby? More than anything. So do I. Since the day I met you. Well, now we can. We could have before. Any day before this, we could have. No. Now we can do it clean. With no hassle or strings on us. Was that the problem? Strings. <laughs> My wife? A fucking mortgage? All that other shit would have killed us. We lied. To everyone we know because of a fucking house payment. Tell me that's not My true. wife would have buried me in a divorce. And I you know that. I would have uncovered you. No, I don't want that. What then, Ben? What do you want? Maybe I was thinking about my kids. No, don't use them. I'm not using don't them. Don't do you that. You have no idea what it's like imagining them waiting no, for you. You have no fucking clue. Maybe if you'd stop trying to climb your way up the fucking corporate rungs like a plague of locusts and actually had yourself one, then maybe you'd know. Okay. Okay, then. Is that true? What? That you were protecting them. Is it? Tell me. No. Not entirely. Not her, not you, or anybody else. Careful, Ben's telling a waft of truth. I did it for me. How's that? 
I wanted this to work out for everyone. Yeah, but mostly for me. We could have worked it out at any point. We could have. No, we couldn't. Why not? Because I wasn't strong enough. But now I am. I'm ready. And what you want for us to do is hide out in my apartment till it's safe, right? Until the city gets itself back in gear. And Just then... until the roads are open. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, until we can get in the Saab and just take off. Well, not just your family, but your friends, the company, everyone around you just has this major outpouring of grief in your honor, something like that. Yeah, that's the Reader's Digest version, but yeah. Eventually, though, once I do the I'm too devastated to come back to work thing, then what? I quit? I just up and resign or give up my position. My pension plan, everything that I've worked towards, I should just- Fuck, Abby, yeah. I get it, I'm aware of the cost here. We're both giving up a lot. I'm begging you to leave this lifestyle that I hear you crying and moaning about it, like, for the three years that we've been together. I'm asking you to show me that you love me by leaving this job that I hear you crying about at, like, 2.30 in the morning. We're not even lucky enough to be around you at 2.30 in the morning. I'm asking you to leave this less than desirable single life of yours and make her dash for the border with me. Do it, Abby. You can do this. I know we can, but do you love me? Of course, Abby. Of course I do. It's shit. I love you. There. Wow. That makes me feel all tingly inside. Come on, don't make Well, it didn't exactly flow out of you. Abby. ask you something. Yeah? Would you do the same for me? Of course, yeah. Even though you couldn't for all of this. We've discussed it before. It's different now. Would you make the same kind of gesture if I asked? Obviously, yeah. I'd do anything for you. Then make the call. Call that you were going to make yesterday before all of this. Uh huh? You need to call your wife and kids and tell them the truth. Tell them what's going on. Get me to go out on a limb and then push me up a fucking branch? I can't do this, Ben. I can't carry all this shit, shit around. Shit, shit, shit on you for doing this. I'm not doing anything, Ben. I'm asking you to. No, I can't. I cannot do Why this. Why not? No, no, no. Why not? Because it ruins it. Okay, it ruins the ending. This isn't a movie, Ben. You can't dictate how life is supposed to be. Yes, I could. This one instance. A day ago, we were just two people fucking thinking that we had something special. But now we can actually make it that. Special. It wasn't special. Oh, of course it was special. It's just it's the wrong word. It was common. Regular. But this, this disaster, it makes what we're doing possible. All we have to do is walk away, Abby. Walk off into the sunset. Okay. Duly noted. But after you make the call. The call before all of this, Yes, Abby. that's what I want, yes. All right, Abby. I'll do that. I'll give you your privacy. No, I want no, you to listen. No, it's fine. Listen. You should have Abby. Abby! Abby! Take a seat. Please. Hi. Ben, why are 
just listen. Okay, this this was the call that I was gonna make yesterday. No, Ben, I don't want you to pretend. I want you to call. Abby, me. shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> I was gonna make this call. I was gonna make it on my way to work, and then I thought, what the hell? She's only a few blocks over. Let me stop in and talk to her. Tell her face to face. She deserves that. I wasn't gonna phone home, Abby. I can't do that. You can call my wife if you want to, but I'll never be able to. And that's why this suddenly seemed so logical. Like the only thing possible. And I wanted it. God, I wanted it. Listen, I think that you're great. And we've had the most no, amazing... No, 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 I promised you that I'd make this call and this is it. I'm calling to tell you that I can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm just tired of all the bad shit that I've done so effortlessly since we met. If you'd have taken this meal ticket, then great. I would have worked in a fucking lumber yard for the rest of my days just to be with you. But if you're gonna make me come clean about what I've done, make me purge all my sins for some unfucking fathomable reason, if I'm publicly forced to choose between those little girls' hearts and your thighs, I'm sorry, it's not much question. I'm really sorry. I'm really very, I don't know. Goodbye. So, you were never going to call, and my little pick-me-up, that was what, hmm? A last suck for good luck. What, what are you doing? Um, uh, going to get some more cheese. Kidding. I'll, um, I'll go to work. I, I guess see if I can, you know, do something. I just... Tell me the company line before I go. We should get our story straight. I don't... I don't know what to do. You call your family, or you don't. You run for the hills, but you don't. You come in and work on the Antel account with us or not, but you have to choose. Your life's in front of you now, Ben. You've already made one choice, me, so you can leave your keys on the counter or in your ficus tree or wherever, and if we see you back at work, it'll be great. It will be. Look, you can't stay here. I'm not gonna write you out whatever you decide I won't do that. I'll show you some mercy, more than you've ever shown me anyway. And you, you can't use your ATM card or any of that other shit out there either. Not if you really want to disappear, but if you're going to start over, then do it. Right now, today. Otherwise, go home and wash your face. Tell your kids you love them. Tell your wife, too, because you do, you know? Abby, I'm just... I'm just a little lost right now. Yeah. Me too, Ben. I am too. <laughs>